Hello guys, today we have a laptop um, that is Samsung Series 5 and it has a, a SSD, uh, SSD that is 24GB and a HDD that is 500GB the problem with this model is like if you try to install Windows and after you install that it is not going to work or boot up as a normal laptop but it will boot up if you connect the USB stick all the times obviously no one would do that like to boot up a laptop uh, with connecting a USB drive to resolve the problem what we need to do we need to clone the SSD drive to our HDD and then it will work uh, it will boot up as a normal laptop because I tried few other methods like with in commands mode uh, doing some commands uh, make uh, the HDD primary but uh, nothing worked for me only one solution worked for me that is uh, cloning the drive I'll show you all the process how I did and how to do the cloning for cloning we will use a software that is called reflect uh, you will find that software uh, link in the description in order to do that, do that um, what you need to know do like uh, change some setting in BIOS as usual like most of the laptop uh, if you want to install Windows they have some default setting and you have to do the customized settings to reinstall the Windows um, as as you can see uh, the laptop um, if I turn on you will see like it is showing a message that is saying like press F4 to reco go to recovery mode because the laptop is not booting up for some reason could be a corrupted windows could be it's been installed before something has gone wrong and is becoming this mode so what we're going to do uh, to install the windows we will change some settings in bios is normal basic settings in bios is nothing hard if you go to the bios by pressing f2 from keyboard and then go to the boot option you will see there is um, uh, only two things we will going to change and um, one is a um, secure boot another one is um, i think it's called fast boot i'll show you you cannot see properly but i'll write the uh, names uh, in description the first one is uh, we are going to do um, a secure boot here we are going to disable secure boot and in a well um, EFR and CMS mode and then fast boot yeah fast buys a startup or something yeah these um so after you disable those two what you need to do you just press F10 and it will go to the boot option and show you what USB what sort of USB are connected you just select the USB and go through the normal process and it will show you the windows i believe you guys all know how to install windows if you come this far then you have to delete all the partition from hard drive as you can see i'm deleting all the partition from hard drive and after that you will see only two drive that one is 24 gigabyte ssd and the one is in the 500 gigabyte hdd so we are going to install Windows on SSD, not HDD. What are you going to do after installation? We will clone SSD to HDD to make it work normal and we will have more space. Obviously, 24 gigabyte is not enough for all the things. After an installation, you might want to install lots of other softwares. So it's not going to be enough. So you have to make sure you do the cloning. Obviously, if you don't do the cloning, it will not work. As you can see, the Windows has installed. I'm just skipping all the normal process. You have to go through while you do the Windows installation. Um, the thing is, like, keep in mind the USB I installed Windows from. It is connected. That's why it's restarting and that's why it's opening, like booting up in the proper way. But obviously, we don't want to do that. Uh, connecting with the USB, let's eject the USB, take the USB off, and let's see what happened if we restart the computer. I'll show you the USB I use this on um, 
to do the installation and what you're going to do now we are going to really restart the computer if it comes in normal mode I, I know it will not come because I tested it before I tested different method as well none of the method work for me it is restarting and uh, it will not restart it will try to boot up but it will not because the USB is unplugged it is trying twice and it came up with the same message I showed you before like press F4 to recover go to recovery mode but obviously you, are, you cannot go to recovery mode by pressing F4 as we deleted all the partition like uh, Samsung default partition and I tried twice like pressing F4 it will not go to recover mode it will come to the same mode again so let's connect say connect a USB drive any sort of USB drive it doesn't have to be the one you installed from any sort of USB drive uh, connect it and then try to reboot the computer and it will reboot it doesn't matter really what sort of USB drive you are connecting you can see the one I connected is not the one I installed from it will go through the normal booting up process because this uh, USB has Windows as well that's why it was giving the option to install Windows from the USB obviously we don't wanna do that because you already installed Windows and you see it's coming on but the problem is obviously no one will connect a USB drive all time to get a laptop work normal and actually this USB has the software called reflect for cloning the drive and we will do that before do that uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to format the uh, HDD because that one is not showing in the computer to do that you need to go to uh, comp my computer right button click and then select the disk and format install the software reflect and it will give you some options like a license agreement and other stuff like if you want to register but we will skip the register option we will not we don't need to do registration for this software you just do it normal way next next accept license agreement and then it will give you a normal key just skip that don't click no we are not going to register just couple of minutes it will take and then it will finish with the installation and we will open the software and we'll see how to clone I believe you guys know how to clone if you don't know there is lots of other videos and help in Google you can find just open the software and again just remind me later we're not going to register so what he's going to do is just took all the hard drive as default and it took by mistake uh, not mistake like it's a default things like it, it took uh, the source clone device like hard drive HDD but I'm going to change I already change it so I'm going to show manually the source is um, SSD and the destination gonna be HDD the 500 gigabyte so you go is there is option you just change it and if you want to save the lock file keep keep as it is I don't want to save it so I take that off and click continue it will start automatically cloning it will take about four or five minutes as I said I'm going to fast forward the video so you know you know the concept of you just need to read what the what the software is saying and then you will understand everything as you can see the progress is very quick but obviously it will take more times while you do that let it finish it will give you a message after it's finished that the clone yeah the clone is done just click close yeah and you can see in my computer there is few other drives as well let's take the pen drive off and restart the computer it should restart and it will I know because I did it before yeah there is no pen drive you can see and it is restarting it's taking time for the first time but it will restart just wait a bit
Oops. Long term. It will work for sure. Yeah, here you go. After that, the laptop will be normal and you can use as a normal laptop. And if you need to do other software installation, then you can go for it. But this is the process basically, and that's how it is. Make sure you clone the um, SSD. If you don't clone, it will not work. That's it guys uh, and thanks for watching the video